This is my second time through here. First time coming through, I learned quite a bit. Hi, my name is Jeffrey Smith. I'm 33 years old. Um, I came to the Visayo Rescue Mission in search of something different. What brought you here in the first place? Addiction to meth. I had been using for many, many years. It finally came to the point where I either needed to get some help or I was gonna lose my family. I was a pretty functional alcoholic first, but after a while I couldn't stand the not drinking all the time. So I finally lost my job. I suffer from mental illness. I was going through a really hard depression. I was drinking really bad through my depression. Like I would sleep days on end. It was just hard to function. I didn't want to, I, I was mad because I was still alive. I was mad. Kind of grew up in a really messed up house. A lot of screaming, a lot of yelling, a lot of beating, just a lot of stuff that a lot of people shouldn't have to go through, you know? Which led to my sisters and I being abused, uh, sexually abused and all that fun stuff, you know what I mean? Just stuff that will really torment somebody. Leaves you confused and stressed out. That's why I ran the drugs, man. I, I wasn't raised in a house with any kind of abuse wasn't raised in a house with any kind of anything going on in, in a negative aspect. I was encouraged my whole life and I just made the bad choices to go out and, and use and start breaking the law. Then one day I decided to go to the store and get some alcohol and I uh, backed the truck out of the driveway and hit a fire hydrant. So by the time I got to the store, the police were right there waiting to arrest me. So after the DUI mess, I, had, I couldn't uh, pay my house payments anymore, so I ended up losing my house. And then I was on the streets, just drinking away again, like I was before. Nothing was gonna stop me. I did a year in jail in Bob Wiley's, uh, assault with a deadly weapon, got a felony strike, uh, three-year probation. You know, I, when, and when I relapsed, I went out and I was stealing from everybody to try and support my habit, support my household, do what I needed to do without anybody knowing what I was doing. I ended up getting in trouble going to uh, Bob Wiley's. I completed the RSAT program, which was like uh, four or five months. And um, I completed that program and I felt I still needed it some more time. So the worst it got was dying. Oh, yeah, the worst it got, I had, I had actually died. I had laid down, I had went to sleep and, uh, and I didn't wake up. And then uh, I spent five days in the hospital they wanted to pull the plug at one time, but I guess when they took me off life support, I had woken up already, so I woke up then, so. And that taught me that was the end of my drinking career. Um, I was arrested for breaking into storage units and burglarizing them many times over. Um, my house got raided. Uh, luckily, my kids were at school when that happened. I was not home, and my wife had to you know, sit in the back of a police car for a couple of hours with you know them tearing through our house and she had no idea why they were there. When they came to the house and they knocked the door and she was more surprised than anyone. When she finally got a hold of me and told me what happened, I came straight home, called and turned myself in. And you know, it's at that point I knew it was it was over with at that point. I figured, you know, I was gonna be doing a long time in jail. I was three months in jail and um I had a guy talk to me, and it was a, an older guy that uh, has been running the streets and, and gang life all of his life, you know? And he told me like this, he goes, what are you doing? And uh, I said, uh, I was passing water out to the top tier at that time. And I'm like, I'm passing water out, what do you mean? You know, all weird. And uh, he goes, no, with your life. And uh, I was like, I didn't know how to answer him. You know, so he goes, uh, what you're doing right now is not what you need to be doing. And you need to change your life. And just kind of like giving me words of wisdom and. And in a weird way, I kind of thought it was, it was God, you know, like I uh, got a Bible from the guys in there and just started opening it up and just started reading the word. And then I came to the Visalia Rescue Mission, yeah. Had a, bu a bunch of public intoxications and some other legal things. So I finally went, I finally went, went in front of a judge and he gave me the option of either uh, go to a program or turn me over to the Department of Corrections. Seemed like it, there was some good recovery going on around here. I need to quit drinking. Or I wasn't going to make it anymore. I wanted, I wanted my family back. You know what I mean? I, there was a, a sense of like, just hate and mad. I think I was more mad at myself. That's what it was. 
So I wanted my family back. I wanted the things that I had back, you know? I wanted me back. That was my biggest thing. Like, I wanted me. I think Jesus has been my, uh, my rock, my fortress, because I kept on slipping back to, okay, I could just use a little bit, I could use a little bit, and now that I've found Jesus again, it's like, um, I don't want to use drugs no more. It's just like, it goes much deeper than just, um, it goes much deeper than just surface, a surface belief. It goes to like my soul and it's uh, restoring me slowly. It's made my recovery much stronger. Relapse is easy. Relapse is the easy way out. Cause you don't have to do nothing to give up, but you, just that one last try could make a difference. I need to stay focused on today. As long as I'm not using today, today's a good day. And I, I think the coolest thing about all this is once I get out, I get to finally be me. I never thought that these, this kind of personal change was possible. I know God can work miracles in anybody's life. They just turn it over to Him. I'm so thankful and blessed for this program because it's given me a chance uh, uh, life again.